Hello YouTube friends. It's uh, Thursday today. I'm going to try and make this little video to post this evening. What a mess I made of posting the um, cleaning products video with Rita. I had no idea that setting it to premiere or premium or pr preview was going to create such a huge problem. I'd never seen that before. I thought it was another way of scheduling a video and I wanted to, to put I wanted to put it there as a sort of placeholder so that the people who come back each day and worry if they don't see me for a few days that I'm not OK. I am OK. Uh, but I thought, oh, I'll put that there so that they know something's coming. Well, what a mess I made of that. I'm so sorry. First of all, I did it. Secondly, uh, I got my PMs and my AMs mixed up. So first of all, it was scheduled to post at midnight British summer time. And then I realised that error straight away when someone in the comments said, oh, uh, I'll wake up at two o'clock to watch you. What? So then I changed it to noon. Oh, well, that's fine. Just leave it. Come on at noon tomorrow. Well, I didn't know that I was inviting people to come along and join in. But I think it was really nice, actually, because everyone was chatting to one another. I was in the garden weeding my asparagus. I didn't even see it. But then when I did go back and watch it and I saw all these people. So all I can do is apologise. I will never do that again. But what I did like, because I've had a quick look at the comments, I haven't actually been in there to reply to any of them yet, but I really enjoyed how Rita waded in and answered some comments. Thank you for doing that, Rita. Um, she's really cool. Uh, I'm very lucky with my kids and my uh, and my kids' partners and wives and, and, and whatever. I really am very lucky. So that was yesterday's video. I wanted to put that up because it was Earth Day yesterday, the 22nd of April. Today, it's Thursday. <laughs> Um, and so today's video, I'm upstairs in the room where I did my jigsaw, I finished my jigsaw and it was on a big board. So I've just lifted it up and put it carefully over here on the bed here, which is that there it is. Can you see it there? This is the uh, where visitors stay if I ever have visitors and there are no visitors at the moment. So um, this room is free to use how I want. So I want to explain to you what it is I want to show you today. Um, for the past few days, few weeks, I've been watching a live stream on the YouTubes uh, of a, an artist who I've been following for many, many years. And just lately, she started doing a live stream every morning at about half past seven British summer time. Now, some, somebody, I did see somebody in the comments said, I wish we all lived in the same time zone. So do I. <laughs> it would be so much easier. I mean, even so, 7.30 is quite early, I think. And, uh, and Michelle doesn't know this, or maybe she does, but I'm watching it in bed. I haven't got up yet. So at 7.30 in the morning, and I'm going to leave, this, is, this video is going to be all about this channel and my response to this woman's work. Uh, so... In the description box below, I'm going to leave a links to her um, YouTube channel and she has Facebook and Instagram as well. Uh, and I'll just tell you a little bit about how I know Michelle, Michelle Kral, Mitzi B, because she is kind of like two people. Yeah. So I you know how when you're <clears throat> wandering around YouTube and you get suggested things or you just stumble upon a video because you followed a little trail from this one to this one to this one. Well, many, many years ago, I found Michelle like that. And she was making, uh, they, went, they weren't live then. They were, uh, these videos were recorded and then uh, put up. And she was making art that just knocked my eyes out. It just knocked me for six. It was just so my style, so completely intuitive and and um, mad and out there and lovely. And I absolutely adored it. And she would play the most amazing uh, music. So there would be some really fabulous music playing, but just the kind of thing I really love. Plus this art that she would film from above. It was amazing. So but that was many, many years ago. And I bought one of her paintings for my birthday and I've just tried to take a photograph of it, but it's behind glass, so you can't actually see it terribly well. <clears throat> just a minute. And I, so I bought an original, which is on the wall downstairs, 
and then I bought a print as well and a few little other bits and pieces. The print's great. The original artwork though is uh, it's just like so, it's so me. It's green and blue and uh, when uh, that I had that wall painted my daughter and her friend painted the sitting room for me a few years ago and that wall there it's all that's on that wall. I'll try and take a picture of it, I'll turn the lights off or something and it's a, a sort of stylized dog and uh, it's got it's just fantastic but watching the video of her making that a piece of art and then me owning it, it just ha was extra special i mean the cat i never saw her paint the cat but I ha and i have that as a print and i love it too but i do, I do love the dog festival and she does all sorts of uh, people and creatures and really kind of dark stuff quite deep but then there's a whole other side to her which is about beautiful watercolor flowers and landscapes and um birds she did a whole series on birds not that long ago uh and and very watery watercolors she uses a lot of pigment <coughs> excuse me and a lot of water so that it's not sort of i, I mean I, lo I love watercolors but these aren't wishy-washy watercolors these are kind of statementy bold things anyway uh i've been watching michelle every morning at half past seven for about half an hour three quarters of an hour while she paints and at the moment she's painting um uh, I'm going to call them landscapes because they are because <clears throat> they've got a skyline and they've got a lot of movement and paint she uses bleach diluted bleach and she uses salt and she uses uh, all sorts of techniques to make this paint move around and I'm watching these and I'm thinking I've no idea what you're seeing there Michelle and then suddenly there'll be something that will go oh but of course that's the skyline and those are the hills and there's some trees there and then it clicks into place in my head. Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. Of the two styles of her painting, the one I love best of all is the um, figurative, um, emotional, darker, uh, deeper stuff. I remember once watching her paint a huge canvas, a recorded uh, video that she made. And there were, she makes these very stylized people and uh, there are words on her canvases and and uh, all sorts of marks, uh, which when you get to know her, you understand that, you know, yes, oh, I'm seeing that again. And I love all of that. And I remember this one time I watched her paint this thing and I was so engrossed in it in the whole thing. And then obviously when she finished it, she saw something there that she didn't like. And she got this sort of, um, oh, grey, yeah, grey paint and painted the whole thing out except for one figure in the middle. I was amazed. I was quite startled, but I got it. I saw what she was doing. Anyway, that's an introduction to Michelle. And if you are awake at half past seven, British summer time, not British standard time, like I said once, British summer time, then pop along. Uh, the link will be there. She'll be going live. She goes live every morning um, and uh, paints these uh, different sort of experimental watercolour landscapes or whatever, different inks and things. And there's a, a, a whole community of people <laughs> who all appear in the comments. And so um, <clears throat> you get to know the same uh, names over and over again. I don't make it every morning because some mornings I'm up doing something else. But if I if I am, if I do remember and I am around for then, I'll watch her at half past seven. But it made me think. And today in today's video, there's a guy called Stephen who lives in Narnia. Um, <laughs> he doesn't. He lives in Yorkshire, but he calls it Narnia. And so and I live in Northumberland, which, of course, is Rivendell. So it's a bit silly. We get together over that bit of silliness. But we we both said in the comments that um, there's no way we could do anything like this. And Michelle threw down the challenge. Come on, Kate. Come on, Stephen. You can do this. So it made me think that in the past, in that kind of like, I'll have a go at anything sort of frame of mind, that, of course, I have made marks on paper and I have I have got my big... Um, <coughs> box of paints and things here. I have a huge box full of all sorts of paint, which I largely use for my jelly plate. You know my gel plate? I, I largely use it for that, 
for the um well at the moment for the zine covers because every zine cover's got a sort of a gel printed cover to it and in fact speaking of the zines the the zine for march there's a, a section in that if you receive that on my patreon rewards there there's a section in it that's called this month i love and last month in march uh, michelle was the youtube channel that i love and so she's featured in there so some of you might already have found her um i love her watercolors very much but i love her figurative stuff too so it made me think and it made me go and dig out some of the things that I've made. Now, you're all familiar with this one. This was the book I made and took to New Zealand and filled up as I was going around New Zealand with all the stories um, and anecdotes and all that stuff. So the New Zealand journal you're familiar with. This one is a much smaller journal. I went to New Zealand for two months. I went to Lisbon for five days. So this is a much smaller journal and I just made this book so that I could um, jot down recommendations of places to eat, <laughs> uh, places to go. And this one really, it's hardly a travel journal at all, really. But uh, it's its just a book that I made out of bits and pieces of, uh, of scraps of paper. That's really nice, isn't it? Isn't that lovely? That's very Lisbon. Very... Lisbon pottery. So that's another of my little travelly journaly things. And I've got, you know, every time I go away, I make one of those. That's not what I'm really talking about today. Uh, I'm going to show you. OK, let's look at this one. Now, disclaimer, I'm not showing you these because they're any good. I'm showing you these because I'm going to get some pa paper get some paint, get some water and get something moving around on that paper in response to watching Michelle in the mornings and also that challenge she just threw down. But I thought I would look first of all at the things that I have made. I mean, years ago, we're talking maybe seven or eight years ago, where I would make things like this. And I'm not, I'm not showing you these because I think they're any good. I just think that, you know, sometimes I like to make marks on paper in fact i'm going to do these overhead so that you can see them a bit better i'll do that now. So i'm not quite sure how this is going to work because i'm filming on my little overhead light box thing you can see the bit of plastic here it just means that i don't have to hold the camera and you can see so these are just pages that are full of color i like gold a lot so often gold ends up being all over my pages um i write on them sometimes some of them are rubbish. Some of them are just not great. I'm trying to get to the one. So look, just that was a stencil with loads of just grungy paint. Again, just just plain, just putting pigment down on paper. Lots of gold, little art gallery there. <laughs> Chalk. I think that was chalk. Yes, it is coming off on my hand. <laughs> That's a, another stencil. It's just like stencil-y freeze. So this one I like because I, I see if you can do it all. Yeah, you can kind of see it. So I, I stuck a load of paper onto that page, just any old how from a magazine. Then I cut out circles and put them on and painted it over with green and then peeled off the paper and put it on here. Something like that. Just plain, you know. I like this page. It's just colour. Just I think this is chalk as well. Maybe. No, it's paint. Anyway, guys, this is... Um, this was something I got into doing quite a bit. This is a picture from a catalogue, I think, that Gudrun clothes woman. And I would like to sort of paint the extensions. I've got some paintings, I can't find them, where it, I just carry on the whole picture like that. So, you know, it's not like I, I'm, I'm not going to quit the day job, OK? <laughs> Definitely not. Uh, let's just find... Um, 
Now, this is a book that I'm going to talk about in much more detail another time, um, but not today. Uh, I'm going to show you this one because uh, of the painted pages. But this was a book that I made for a particular event. And so um, and um, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. And we'll talk about that in greater detail sometime. But we can just look at it now and see just how and there's holes cut all the way through these pages so that each page feeds into the one that's coming and so there are just crazy pages of paint now this is nothing at all like michelle does nothing but it's kind of my response to colour and what I might do with colour. So. Bits of fabric here and bits of sewing. I will talk about this book in greater detail another day. And then towards the end it gets very simple and calm and ends always with my favourite saying which is the Beatles uh, and in the end the love you take is equal to the love you make and I made this book during one whole week's residential course that I was doing and um, I, I made it in the afternoon and bound the whole thing and finished it and then when I got home I made this little bag to keep it in and it's so but it's just sort of wild and curious marks on paper that's what this one's all about and then I want to show you um, these little books. I think, um, I don't know, depending on how long you've been watching, you might have seen these little books already. Uh, these are the little um, Japanese stab bound books that I make. <clears throat> and um, they're all colour themed. So these ones are colour themed. Obviously, this is the blue one. And inside here, then, what we've got is just blue things. Anything blue that was going on for me at that time ended up in this book. Bits of fabric sewn onto the page, just bits and pieces. And that's another one where the fabric's there and I just carry on painting it up there. I'm no great painter, I promise you. I'm not showing you these because I think they're great works of art or anything it's just that it was my um take on putting marks on paper so this is the blue one just all sorts of bits of blue and then i made um the green one obviously the green ones here with green things they're not full they can add some more bits in the red one which is red What's going on there? It's a bit of New York, I think. Map of New York, look. Red things. And finally, the yellow one in this series. And I guess these blank pages, one of these days, I imagine they would always get filled up. If I had a bit of something yellow, I would find it and stick it in my yellow book. So these are ongoing little books and they're just nice to have. A nice size for in your hand. But then the last book, oh, hang on, there is one more. What's this? Oh, no, this is the book that uh, is just full of lots and lots of blank paper. And at the beginning, there's a few little bits of that other stuff that I enjoy doing, but only a few. So, what... so I've got this idea that I might just come up here and make marks with all the bits and pieces. Look at this huge box full of paints and glitter and brushes and it might be just like I would come up here and do my jigsaw for half an hour it might be that I just come up here and put marks on paper for half an hour and I'm going to use this book because it's square and it's a nice size and um, it's already got the beginnings of some sort of messes in there. But it's got some lovely blank paper. So this is what I might do. I might 
use this space that's up here no one else is using and use the prompt from Michelle to just have a go Kate that's how hard can it be and enjoy making some marks on paper but what I would say is pop over and see Michelle at half past seven in the morning if you want to obviously as soon as the live has finished she posts these as um videos that you can watch after the event so they're you know they're posted after the event as not live and if you are a painter or even if you're not if you've got a jar full like this and we all have haven't we i mean these are just some cheap brushes from ikea just kids paint brushes there's nothing in here that's cost i mean there's a that's a paintbrush, but it's a cheap paintbrush. Just stuff that will make marks. Some water, some um, whatever you've got. I always have gold. <laughs> I like gold. I like making things look sparkly. So we may have a go. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. I'm sitting up here, though, in this room, and I'm looking outside uh, at the, um, what are we now, April 23rd. All the green out there is absolutely beautiful and the cherry trees in blossom. So it's a very nice place to sit. So I hope you're all OK. Thanks for watching that uh, Earth Day cleaning video yesterday. I really enjoyed revisiting that time because way back in February when I made that film and it was lovely uh, to see Rita again <laughs> and do all the edit for that. Um, so I will catch up with you soon. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I've not really got a clue what's going on in the wider world because I'm sticking to my thing of not watching news bulletins. Uh, I know that we're all still in uh, lockdown here in the UK and uh, restricted movement and so on. And that's just fine. Um, I guess my kids will tell me if anything changes. But my mental health's improved no end by not watching daily uh, updates uh, and the news at 10 and all of that. So whatever you're doing, have a go at something you haven't done for a long, long time. And I will see you soon. Bye.